Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are talking a little a bit more on keyboards. Specifically, we are looking at keyboard switches. So today I'm going to compare four budget linear switches, which I consider to be the best bang for the buck in terms of value. All of these switches is what I would consider budget because the prices are generally less than one ringgit Malaysia per switch, and they are also lightweight, which I consider to be 50 gram actuation and below. Now the first switch in our roundup is actually the cheapest, the KTT Red Wine. It costs around 80 cents per switch looped. It has a unique two-stage springs, a very lightweight 43 gram actuation. Uh, it's the cheapest switch of the bunch. Uh, the only con is that it's only using a polycarbonate top housing. As in my experience, nylon top housing always sounds better. Now the second switch we are looking at is actually the legendary Gatron Yellow. This is the Pro line which means it is factory looped. Uh, the stem is actually POM with a nylon top and bottom housing. Uh, in terms of roundup, this comes at 50 gram activation so it is the heaviest strings. It is also only slightly more expensive than the KTT at 80 cents per switch. Our third contender is the JWK Black. This is actually a clone of the Chevy MX Hyperglide but using a much much lighter springs which is only 42 gram as far as activation. It has a classic linear spring feel, uh, 5 pin, also POM stem with full nylon top and bottom housing and also it is factory looped. Although the price is more expensive than Get Yellow and the KTT, uh, this one actually retails for around 1 ringgit and 10 cents per switch. Now, this is the most radical switch and the most expensive switch here. It costs at around 1 ringgit and 25 cents per switch. Um, this one is actually very unique because it uses a two-stage spring which is initially light and it becomes wehi post-actuation. Um, it also has a faster reset. The actuation is also the lightest at only 25 gram. Uses a new molding from Gatron which has almost zero wobble. Um, has a very short travel distance, 1.2mm actuation which is very good for gaming. Although the material has a polycarbonate top which is a bit disappointing, it's also you know 3 pin which a bit disappointing also. Now I'm also going to throw my stock RK rates, this is looped actually. So into the comparison because I just want to compare what is the comparison between these stock switches and other more premium linear switches that is available in the market. Now before we start the review, I'm just going to give a quick disclaimer and um, regarding this review. Now first things first, these are all my opinions, it doesn't have to be correct. Switches and keyboard in general are more about preference. So you choose what you like, what is your priorities, what are your budget and that is what is important. TLDR right now, I will say that all of these four switches is definitely better than my stock RK rates loop switches. So your, if, even if you get any of these switches, you're not going to go wrong. It's always an improvement compared to the stock switches. Also keep in mind that this is purely my opinion and my preference. Why I did not include some of the switches? Because my preference is I like lighter switch, like 50 gram and below. I don't really like heavy switch, especially for gaming and typing. So this is, uh, this is just preference and you know if you like another switch out there, that's fine, no problem at all. Uh, this is just me helping you to compare, maybe if you are looking like me, looking for a budget linear switch, maybe this review might be helpful to you. Anyway, on to the sound comparison.
Now, the view of the stem wobble is actually quite easy because it's actually quite objective. As you can see right here, the, the stock weights, I mean the RK weights is extremely wobbly. There is a lot of play between the stem and the housing. So, uh, this one is the fail in terms of wobble. The Gatwin Yellow is actually not much better. Also having, I mean not as bad but very similar to the stock RK weights in terms of wobble. Uh, this is in compared to the KTT Red Wines which has actually more stable uh, and less wobbly between the housing and the stem uh, which is surprising because it's cheaper now the JWK has very, I would say quite um, tight tolerances there's hardly any wobble in the stems it's, I think I would say it's very similar to the KTT Red Wines but it's not the champ the champ goes to the Gatron Silver Pro this one is actually pretty bulletproof you can put a lot of force and try to force a wobble but there's like literally no space between the housing and the stem so in terms of stability this is by far the best and when you put a keycap on it it becomes even more prominent now although I am disappointed with the Gatron Yellow performance in terms of stem stability um, because there is a lot of play between the housing and the stem but I don't really know how much the stem wobble actually affects anything in terms of scratchiness or sound um, that one is number one and we have to keep in mind that the Gatron is yellow is still using the old Gatron housing which is not the new housing that is being used by the Gatron uh, Silver Pro so maybe they will release a new version and the stem wobble will improve who knows so conclusion time what did I end up choosing as the main switch for my keyboard? Well, it is actually the Gatron Pro Silver. Now, the reason is because I think mainly it's because uh, it's light and it's unique. Um, I play a lot of games, Valorant and whatnot, and I really prefer lighter things. I mean, going from the Gatron Yellows at 50 gram actuation, going to the Gatron Silvers, it really feels the difference. The 50 gram, the 15 gram, you can really feel it. Um, and for me, playing games, I think it's better just to have a lighter switch. That one is number one. Number two, I also really like the smoothness of the switch. Um, compared to the, all the rest, I would rate the Gatron Pro Silvers and the Gatron Yellows on top in terms of smoothness. And this is when I'm talking about smoothness, is I'm talking about factory loop. Because I did not open any of these switches and did not do any lubing because I am too lazy for that. Previously, I did lubing for my tactile switches but nowadays, there's a lot of um, switches that come looped from the factory and I do find that mainly mostly are good enough it will get you like 80% there so that there is fine by me so in terms of smoothness that is the second reason why I chose it and the third one is a bit more weird but I do feel that I want something that is drastically different than just a typical linear switch so I feel that the get one possibles offers that if you are looking for something like a uh, something an experience that is a lot more different than your like stock rates switches that you're coming from from your RK keyboards then the Gatron Pro Silvers will probably be that I think it's mainly down to the two stage things because it has a very weird feeling not weird I would say a unique feeling when you press down it's very light and then it becomes heavier and then when you release it it resets very quickly so um, I mean the KTT the KTT Red Wines it says that it uses the same um, it's a very similar two stage thing but it doesn't feel like that the KTT Red Wine actually feels more towards like a Gatron Yellows as compared to the Gatron Pro Silvers uh, now in terms of sound this is where I don't feel that this is the strong suit of the Gatron uh, Silvers it sounds very loud and it has a very like clack 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 sound so if you don't like that kind of sound I don't think the Gatron Pro Silver is suitable for you in fact I would rate the JWK Blacks as having the best sound along with the Gatron Yellows in fact if you're asking me the best all around switch I would say the Gatron Yellows is cheap uh, it's relatively smooth the sound is actually very deep I mean the one that I chose lah the not the polycarbonate top housing I chose the nylon top and bottom housing so it sounds very deep so I would say overall the Gatron Yellows is a very good all-rounder but if you have a little more budget and can spend for the Gatron for Silvers I would say that that is definitely worth it anyway guys like always if you 
uh, like my content and do find my channel useful especially because I'm covering mainly budget oriented PC PC hardware if you like this channel and you find it useful do consider to support a fellow Southeast Asian YouTuber and leave a like and especially a subscribe I'm really hoping to get 1000 subscribers if you find that my video useful don't forget to leave a subscribe otherwise see you guys next time ciao